I've got face unlock working on my Galaxy S7. Ready? One, two, three. Boom shaka laka. All right, it works pretty fast. Um, compared to my Note 8, it's way faster. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. Ready? One, two, three. Boom shaka laka. Way longer. All right, so pretty awesome stuff. I am actually running um, the latest Resurrection Remix Oreo on my Galaxy S7. This is actually for Galaxy S7 Edge, but you can go ahead and install on any Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge running Exynos. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, this is Resurrection Remix 6.0. This is for um, all the international SMG 930F, the G930 FD, the dual SIM, the G930X, or if you have the Canadian G930 W8. All of those have Exynos processors. You can also install the Korean versions, uh, SMG 930K, SMG 930L, SMG 930S. Now, this is an AOSP ROM. It's a pure Android OS. Um, but I actually really prefer it on the Galaxy S7 uh, or the S7 Edge. Uh, battery life is very, very good. You get the latest Android 8.1.0, right, which is really nice. So you get the latest Oreo. Of course, I've got um, also the camera um, that I posted the other day. So I've got the front camera, back camera, portrait working flawless. Um, that mod also works flawless with the uh, portrait mode camera, the HDR camera. So you can go ahead and enjoy it. All right, if you haven't checked out the camera mod, definitely check it out. You can install it on TouchWiz, uh, AOSP, don't really matter. This ROM is awesome um, because you can also do auto face unlock. All right, for those of you who don't know, there is face unlock added to all Android Nougat, Oreo, and also the new Android P. You can find that in security and privacy under smart lock. Right, um, you can go ahead and add a trusted face. Now, the way Android has it um, set up is that you turn, um, you have to tap on your phone and then it won't unlock it like this. You actually have to swipe and then it will unlock it. But with this method, the great thing is that it will automatically unlock it for you. All right, that's all in Resurrection Remix settings, which is very nice. Also, fingerprint sensor works flawless, where the Samsung TouchWiz, you have to actually press the home button and do it. But with this one, you don't actually have to press it. You can go ahead and just set your finger on the fingerprint sensor and unlock it, which is another bonus. All right, you're not gonna be able to run any TouchWiz apps, all right, TouchWiz um, related apps. This is all pure Android OS. It's almost making your phone into a Nexus device. Um, but if you couple it with the Google ACR camera, um, there's absolutely no reason to use a Samsung camera because the ACR camera is better. Of course, the biggest thing with this, um, performance is very, very good. I mean, you're gonna get much better performance, also much better battery life, especially when you're not using your phone. Uh, especially, you know, the Google Pure OS's are always better uh, when your phone's not doing anything. You'll just get more battery life when it's idle, for example. All right, you'll find all the customization in configurations in settings. This is all the Resurrection Remix things. I'm not gonna go over all of them. There's just way too much, but you'll notice I have a custom carry label high on Android at the top there. Um, you can do that all here. You can even put branded logos, custom logos, carrier label right there. That's why I put my high on Android. All right, you can customize the interface, the lock screen, um, the buttons. Oh, the buttons are very, very nice. Um, the hardware keys, you can um, customize all your buttons. You can even disable them and use soft buttons if you want. So right now, I have it going to the actual Google ACR camera instead of the Samsung camera. Well, I don't have a Samsung camera on here, um, which is really nice. So I can do um, make my own shortcuts. All right, you can also disable hardware keys. That will make them completely disabled. Um, this is a great way to actually just go with a um, navigation bar. Maybe you bought an old Galaxy S7, S7 Edge, and you just don't want to use the hardware button. Sometimes they, you know, pain in the ass. Um, then you can go ahead and use this. You can even change the height of it, customize it. Uh, it's a lot of fun. Animations, you get all the animations, gestures, um, quick shortcuts, you're gonna get all of that here. All right, as far as the screen unlock, I'm gonna go ahead and show you that last. You're gonna be able to find that under security and lock screen. And go ahead and enable face auto unlock, all right? The Lineage OS, the vanilla stock 
custom ROM that also is available for the S7 S7 Edge, it does not have this option. But custom ROMs like Resurrection Remix and uh, most custom ROMs that offer a good level of customization will offer this, which is really nice because sometimes you just want to hit that and let it unlock, which is awesome. I really like that feature. Now that's just one of the features of this ROM. Um, but if you want to run pure Android, definitely give this a try. Again, it works for Galaxy S9, uh, sorry, Galaxy S7 or S7 Edge. Also, um, I mentioned the models G930, just add 935F to all the models and then, you know, change the zero to five. And, It'll all support all the Galaxy S7 Edge models also. Installation is really, really simple. I'm gonna walk you through. You don't need to root. You just need to install Torp Recovery. And then you're gonna go ahead and install the ROM, G Apps, Reboot, all right? But obviously, because this is not TouchWiz, you're gonna have to start over from the beginning, but it's not gonna delete your data. Um, you know, data meaning your personal files and stuff. But for all your apps, you're gonna have to start over. Okay guys, before you do this, make sure you turn off all your um, screen locks, fingerprints, because otherwise your phone is gonna be encrypted and you're not gonna be able to install the new ROM. So turn off all the security. I'm gonna set my screen lock to none. All right, remove device protection before you do it. First thing you're gonna do, go to my website and make sure your model is supported. All right, it'll have all the models supported. Uh, for the Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. All right, power off your phone, and we're gonna go ahead and put it into download mode so we can install Torp. Go ahead and hold down volume down, center home, and power. All right, once you are at the warning screen, go ahead and hit the volume up, obviously. You're gonna be the download mode. Go ahead and connect it to your computer uh, via micro USB cable. All right, you're gonna need a Windows computer for flashing Torp. All right, so next you'll need to download uh, Odin 3.zip. All right, if you don't have Samsung USB drivers, also download that. Also, you'll need an actual um, ROM file. There's actually a separate one for S7 and S7 Edge. I'll point it out. Go ahead and download. I got it one for the Galaxy S7, obviously here. And also you'll need to download Beans G apps. All right, use this one. Don't use Open G apps. Um, I've been having some trouble. Um, so go ahead and use, go ahead and download all four of these files. Oh, sorry, one more file. Also, you need the tour recovery for your S7 or S7 Edge. All right, download the file starting in Torp. All right, next, go ahead and unzip uh, Odin 3, extract all files, and you get a folder called Odin3.exe. All right, double click on that uh, on the file, and uh, if you see a blue highlighted box like this, you're good to go. If you don't see this, um, go ahead and run the Samsung USB driver EXE program, run it. Uh, once it's installed, go ahead and unplug your USB and plug it back in and you will see this. All right, once you see this, you're good to go. Go ahead and hit AP, go to your downloads folder and choose the twerp recovery tar file that you downloaded um, for your S7 or S7. So this is for S7. All right, next, you're gonna, very important, you're gonna go ahead and um, hit open. You're gonna hit start. As soon as your screen goes off, you're gonna hold down volume up, center home, and power. All right. So ready, volume up, center home, and power. All right, and when you see the logo, give it a few seconds to let go of the power button. All right, uh, and next, you're gonna go ahead and go to your computer and you're gonna go ahead and copy over the RR, um, the Resurrection Remix file, and also the Beans G apps, right? And also if you want um, root, go ahead and copy over Magisk. You can also download this if you want root, you can go ahead and flash that too. I want root, so I'm gonna go ahead and copy over. Next, go to your Galaxy S8, and go to your download folder and paste it here. All right, or you can paste it anywhere. It, it don't really matter. Okay, once files copied over, the rest is really easy. You don't need the USB cable anymore. You can do all of this on your phone. You can do it in your bathroom if you have to go to your bathroom. Um, go ahead and go to wipe and do a factory reset. This will erase your apps, app settings, app data. All right, it's not gonna erase any parts of your internal storage or anything like that. Go ahead and swipe, hit the home button, install. Go ahead and find the ROM file. I put it in my download folder. It's the rrblahblah.zip. Confirm to flash. 
that will install the ROM. And when this is done, we're gonna go ahead and simply flash the um, um, Google Apps, G Apps, all right? Otherwise you won't get the Play Store unless you somehow don't want the Play Store, then you don't have to install it. <laughs> all right, when that's done, go ahead and choose the Bean Apps and also install. All right, when that's done, go into install. Go ahead and install Magisk if you want root. If you don't need root, you can go ahead and skip this step. And go ahead and reboot system. Hit do not install. And give it a second um, to boot. And you should be good to go. All right, folks. Um, if you got here, you should be at the welcome screen. Go ahead and sign in and enjoy your ROM. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, have a great day. I have uh, working on the S9 ROM, playing with it, so I should have that coming soon. Uh, but in the meanwhile, have a great day. And as always, stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.